So let's go and explore the Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show. I think I got that right. Good morning. It's 6.30 and uh, it's Friday and we're off to the NEC, the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham, which is about a three hour drive. So uh, it's just getting light, the car's warming up and I'm on my own today. So let's go and explore the Caravan, Camping and Motorhome Show. Well, it's now 9.30. The car park at the NEC is rapidly filling up and uh, we're going to head over to the shuttle bus. Show's not open yet, but we're going to go and find some a ticket so I can get in. Let's go and have a look over here. Well, I walked, I didn't take the shuttle bus, that's the start. And now I'm looking at my map. A crowd of people now gathering around the entrances. Um, that looks like that's Hall 5 there, come up to the service area here uh, where the cash points are, like I said, and there's a news agent, a business centre, some other work going on, Witherspoons up here, which is where you can get a nice breakfast, I can smell it from here. Uh, there's another bar over the end there, a coffee shop, so it uh, looks like they're starting to open up the doors and the shutters, so uh, I'm going to form an even more orderly queue at this entrance, I think. Uh, this is at the point where you start feeling lost. All right, we've just got to show a ticket now and we should be in and get our freedom back. Well, we're looking down a long line of auto sleeper camper vans. And uh, this particular one here is Sue's choice. And uh, come in various colours, but uh, this is Sue's choice. Go around the back here. Nice and early, so we're the first ones to view this van this morning. This is in the brown upholstery, it's quite nice actually, quite a warm upholstery. Uh, nice deep cupboards. Now these we've looked at many times. Um, I'll only be looking through a few vans this morning. Um, the reason being the show's going to get very busy. And uh, um, if you want to look in detail at various motorhomes, you need to go and visit Bob Earnshaw's site. Bob Earnshaw is the master of our uh, motorhome vloggers. The thing that Sue liked about this one was the uh, separate shower room with a real shower that you can shut off and the lounge at the back which turns into double bed or you can have it as two singles. This is uh, an extra long wheelbase motorhome, 6.3 metres I think in length and uh, just going to check out the price. There's the details. Of the Warwick XL. Hi Liz, how are you? Right at the top of our shopping list of camper vans. There's a lot more around here we could look at. Yeah. 
Right, auto sleeper again, and we're on to Trev's choice, Mercedes. And uh, this is the Burford. In fact, it's the Burford Duo, which, um, as you can see, this is the lounge area. Very, very nice lounge area and kitchen. Everything you might need in this uh, motorhome. It's a high spec uh, motorhome, and I like the fact that they've stuck with a separate freezer compartment. Russell Hobbs microwave, they're appearing more this year. And then this door here takes you through to the bedroom. Now, that's a significant factor on this van a proper door, uh, which leads into the bedroom with two single beds, a hanging space over the bottom of the bed. Your feet tuck under, of course, plenty of room there. Unless you've got size 24 feet, you'll be fine. And then uh, through into the bathroom and uh, washroom. Yeah, a bit disappointing, not a frosted window. But other than that, I think everything about this van is Trev's choice. Bailey stand. Now I would go so far as to say that Baileys are probably the people's choice. The people's choice purely because they turn out a van for everybody. They are producing dozens if not hundreds of motorhomes and caravans and they listen to their customers. Have to be said, they have entry level vans and they have the higher spec vans and that in between as well. Very handsome looking vans. And the unicorns. Uni unicorns been going for a number of years. Still very, very slick vans, highly equipped. Never owned a Bailey. I've never owned a Bailey. I've always looked, wanted to own one, but somehow they've always been pipped at the post by Eldis or Swift for me. Uh, personal choice. Everybody has a personal choice. Here's the eight footers, the Pegasus Grand. As you can see, the Phoenix. <laughs> I apologise, the Phoenix is seven foot three wide. But, uh, very popular layout that one now with the island bed, uh, transverse island bed, halfway down the van, with washroom at the back and parallel bunks in the lounge area. Also makes up a double bed, as you can see in that picture. Very, very popular uh, layout, and that's um, at £18,500 plus delivery, no doubt. For under £20,000, you're getting an awful lot of caravan there. And uh, I know it sounds a lot of money, but you're buying memories, you're not buying a bit of metal, really. Really, very reasonably priced, I think. These I'm going to check out their prices. There we go. We're just taking one van at random. We'll go and have a little look inside. And a typical layout here with the rear bedroom that can be made up into a double bed. You generally find when they're high up like that, they don't suit me, but um, they do accommodate a fairly hefty garage which uh, you can put your cycles in and awnings and all sorts of other equipment and keep it out of the way really useful uh, just a three burner hob on these um, but they do come with a combi oh, they come with a grill an oven so that's pretty good and uh, you can see the eldest uh, lockers very very similar um, and it looks like this one is a Peugeot Boxster chassis and cab 
that and the Fiat look very similar. It's a very nice motorhome, this one. For its money, you're getting uh, a real nice little holiday home on wheels. Not bad. Let's just have a quick look at the washroom. Oh, nice, nice door handle there. Look at that. Nice door handle. I know it shouldn't be about the detail, but often, often it is when you're buying a wet room. And a nice cupboard up there. There's always a bloke staring at me whenever I go in there. But uh, security, I reckon. And uh, wow, look at that for a wardrobe. Um, excellent hanging space. And what does it look like on the outside? It's the avant garde. It's a new model from Compass. A little bit bigger motorhome here. Let's go and have a little look at this one. Um, again, look at that price, under 50,000 on the road. Um, that's, uh, well, it's a lot of money, but they're getting a lot of van for it. This one looks like it's got the, uh, it's built for a family, this one, for sure. We've got an overhead drop-down bed here with um, diner and a lounge in the front. So you've got a double bed down here with uh, the cab end. Um, electric drop-down bed right up here, uh, which again is a, is a second double bed. So already you're sleeping four. Around the corner here, we've got the uh, burger tree kitchen, same as before. Washroom is a wet room, uh, halfway down the van here. That's uh, nice and spacious, no window, just a little skylight in the top for ventilation. And my goodness, good sized lounge, again ample, makes up as a double bed. Lovely big windows in the back. And the nice thing about lounge in the rear of a motorhome is those panoramic views that you get when you're parked up. And most caravan and motown sites will allow you to park, you know, drive in or drive out, as long as you stick to uh, the position on the pitch. They uh, allow you to do that, so you get the benefit of your windows in the back lounge here. Really nice if you want to go to, you know, one half wants to go to bed at the, this end of the van, and the other one wants to stay up and watch a late night film, you can do that. Impressed? Now we're on the Buccaneer stand. Buccaneer is a caravan that I owned uh, six years ago and uh, top of the range for Eldis. Uh, they are a brand in themselves, Buccaneer, but uh, still part of the Erwinheimer group now. And you're looking at luxury here. This is an eight foot wide van. And, uh, you know, it just oozes luxury. Look at the width there, it's incredible. Now I know the double bed's pushed back and uh, so that you've got more space, but there's, there's oodles of space here. And we had also the, um, the eldest uh, version of this for two years from 2015, a 2015 model. And uh, although the spec was slightly less, it had all of the luxury and the beauty of uh, this, what this van brings really, for probably £7,000 less. But um, that is something else. Beautiful caravan. And you would need a significant car to tow this. A Land Rover Discovery or similar. Uh, Kia Sorento would probably tow it. Uh, that sort of uh, class car really. Um, you won't tow it with a uh, Freelander or a Discovery Sport. Fabulous spec. And that was the uh, Buccaneer Cruiser. 
I think that is my choice of caravan, but then I've got expensive taste. Beautiful caravan. I'm going to move on now and take you across to another favourite. Now what you find with this show is that you get the manufacturers and you also get the suppliers. Now Glossops are a big supplier up in the north west. We've dealt with them in the past. No problems at all. Preston, there's another one from the northwest. And uh, they will they will hold franchises for various different caravans. It looks like they've got Swift and uh, probably others. But um, that's the beauty of coming to a show. You can see the manufacturers and all of their people, and you can see suppliers and uh, distributors from all over the country as well. Um, now, if you like gadgets, you hover around these sort of stands, look. This guy is going to be selling us solar panels, satellite systems, TVs, and all sorts of other electrical gadgets, inverters, microwaves. <laughs> nice thing about the show as well, you got all this kind of thing, look, soft furnishings. Now who would have thought? Absolutely superb. And if you're feeling a bit peckish, why not? Here's a Crusader. I owned a Crusader. Uh, it was like one very similar to this one, actually. Um, 2012, something like that. Uh, 2010. Um, we had a twin axle Crusader. Bought it from Mildenhall Caravans, which are no longer no longer exist. But they were an excellent. Uh, dealership. I would say that, wouldn't I? Because <laughs> they don't exist. But uh, Eldest got their own camper vans now. They're fairly new into the market. And the AutoQuest. Just talking to a salesman just now and he was saying that the Compass and the AutoQuest, uh, which is made by uh, Marquis, um, or for Marquis, uh, they're all of the same entry point, they've just got different graphics, different interiors, very similar level of spec. Uh, all the elders stand here. Now my favourite of the uh, Elders range would be the Encore. Um, I do like the Encore range. This one uh, here, I'm going to try and have a little look in this one in just a moment. I'm looking at a price tag of uh, around about £55,000. Nice window in the door. It's an end washroom, this one. See already it's an end washroom. Nice big lounge, and this looks like it's got the leather option. Wow, that feels great. Might have a little sit on there in a minute. Um, Peugeot box start again. Peugeot boxer, and nice, very nice sunroof. And uh, overhead window as well. Cavernous lockers. Yeah. Right. Ooh, mind step. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> End washroom. Separate shower. and hanging space. Aldi heating. And plenty of room. Yes. Yes, it's 
very nice motor home for two. Um, that one. Like I say, we are only having a quick look at these. Um, there are a few more that I want to uh, have a look at very quickly. We have looked at many of these models before, and uh, as I say earlier in my chat here, the Bob Earnshaw site is the place to go if you want to have a detailed look. He'll open every cupboard for you. Nice one, Bob. And I did tell him recently that uh, he is the best motorhome vlogger by far in the UK, in my opinion. And that's what this vlog is all about, my opinion. You will have a different opinion about motorhomes and caravans to me and anybody else. Okay, pat on the back to the people running the show. The years we've been to these shows and there's never anywhere to sit and they're now installing benches. Hurrah! And they're not far from the cafe so you can have a little picnic or you can go in the cafe. Just amazing. We used to sit on the floor and uh, eat our picnic. There was nowhere else to go. Flying flags and kites. When we used to uh, run rallies. It was fashion to everyone to have a different flag. I remember father-in-law had one that was like an eagle, and uh, it genuinely did look like an eagle. And now we come to our favourite pet suppliers, Aileen and Mackay Pet Supplies. Just busy talking to some ladies at the moment, but I'm gonna go over there and make myself, well, make a nuisance of myself in due course. Show's getting very busy now, but uh, world of motorhomes and caravans. Look that one up. Just been talking with Chris, and uh, the link is on the bottom of the screen loads of information if there's anything you want to know about motorhoming and caravanning a wealth of information there lovely guy look him up and we're on the airstream stand they really are a thing of beauty When you get fed up with looking at caravans and motorhomes, you can always come and have a game of archery. Uh, do some pull-ups on the bar over there. Don't think I'll try that. And uh, one or two other activities. There was a climbing wall here one year. I uh, don't think it's here this year, but um, some places to sit and relax and have your picnic, which is really nice. Uh, it's the Bear Grills Adventure Centre. There we go. So, just bumped into Karina and Jules from Here We Tow, and I'll put their uh, YouTube channel link in the description and on the screen. Still wandering around aim aimlessly here. Don't really know where I'm going. Nice Hyundai cars. Shiny. Everybody loves a nice awning. The beauty of these shows really is when you have something in mind to buy, you can come and compare the different ones. There are so many manufacturers of anything really, caravans, motones, awnings. And you can uh, compare them on 
site here and sometimes get a good deal. But, um, there's the Isabella one. Isabella, notoriously high quality, high price of course, but then, like everything in life, you get what you pay for. And uh, Isabella. You know, you can imagine it uh, in the Porum Warren and a Howling Gale. It still stands there looking pretty, which is what you want. Okay, lots of awnings in this part of the uh, arena. Not something that I'm looking to shop for at the moment. I uh, actually invested in a pop-up gazebo which I stand next to the motorhome. It's made by Quest and I'll just have a little look and see if they're here. And here we go. The screen house. One person, one minute. And now he's, now he's going to go inside and pop the roof up. Just like that. That was only 55 seconds. <laughs> Thank you very much. So this is our pop-up awning of choice. And here are the details over here. One person, one minute. There you go. Somebody's got a birthday. Caravan and Motor Home Club. A large presence here at the show. Again, lots of air places to sit and uh, enjoy the experience. Huge amount of information available with the Caravan and Motown Club. And well worth joining. I think it's about £52 a year to join the club and you get a monthly magazine which is worth all of that. Plus access to all of their network of sites CLs, club locations, and uh, much, much more. Technical information, the lot. Okay. Still wandering around. The show is currently at its busiest point. We were just saying that this is probably the busiest day so far. Friday. The show closes at 4pm, I think, on Sunday, so just a couple of days left to get a bargain. Just been on the Swift stand. Lovely motorhomes. Um, literally walked around the stand here and it is so busy. You can see uh, all the motorhomes have got people viewing them. Now, that tells you something about the brand. Very, very popular. The Besser cars, particularly. Contiki, the giant motorhome in the Swift range. And the Scape is the entry level. Here's a Contiki. You recognise that when you see it approaching you down the road. Look at the size of that garage. And the Contiki range has had a half facelift for this year. And uh, fantastic piece of equipment. Mm. 
There's another website for you, caravaninsurance.co.uk and caravanfinder.co.uk. One of the larger stands for accessories, Toshio. They also have an online shop. You can get just about anything with them. Barbecue of choice. <clears throat> the Kadak. Just had a really interesting conversation with the guys from the battery firm, UASA. Really useful guys. Gave me a brochure and uh, going to have a good read of that later. Keep your batteries healthy, they say. And uh, there's a few tips and tricks along the way to keep your batteries healthy. Let's Just been talking to them on Tranquil Parks there. They've got uh, 30 odd sites around the country, all privately owned, and they're adults only. Gonna give them a look fairly shortly, I think. It's always good to have somewhere different to go. There we are, Tow Master 2, just been given a demo. And, uh, that's on the shopping list right now. Just need a little car to tow. Well, I've been wandering around this show for about five hours. And uh, I thought it was about time I had a cup of tea. Cheers. Just had a really helpful discussion with the guy from Sargent Electronics on the Swift stand about solar energy and the uh, Swift command system. Really useful, and uh, he spent a good bit of time with me explaining how it all works. I don't know that I'll remember it all, but um, it's going to be an uh, interesting challenge if I want to in increase my solar capacity on the roof of my motorhome. Uh, but I've got a few clues as to how, how it can be done. So uh, we're now moving on to, uh, well, out towards the entrance and the exit. My legs are just about falling off. Um, so I'm uh, going to prepare now for the three hour journey back. It's been a great day. Um, people say, what's the point? But uh, I really have had some good and interesting and informative conversations with some of the uh, experts here at the show. So. Uh, Till next time, I'll speak to you later. Bye now.